YouTube. This is Maniac. I did a thing, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. So if you wanna do it, you can do it. Um, uh, wait, get, 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 show them the cupboard. Show them the cupboard. There you go. Um, I've been looking at a bunch of stencils, and if I bought all the stencils that I wanna buy, I wouldn't be able to pay for daycare. And uh, I need to pay for daycare because this guy's a maniac, and I need somebody else to take care of him during the day while I work. So. Uh, I'm going to show you how I made my own stencil. It's not fancy. It works okay. Um, and I'll show you what I made with it. It's a crappy pattern stencil. And I've just been fooling around with stuff around the house trying to come up with ways that are um, affordable to do this kind of stuff. So check it out. What do you think, Otto? Yeah, he doesn't care. All right, the tools I'm using today piece of scrap cardboard, piece of paper, ice anchor for my ice shanty. Didn't get to use the ice shanty much this year, so we're gonna use it for something else. Let's take this cap off. I was playing guitar. Don't touch that, bud. All right. So all I'm gonna do to get started Pop that through, give it a twist, back it out. See, it makes kind of a hole that's not quite perfect hole. It's got a little bit of character to it. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's not the best, but my tripod's in the basement. It's blurry. All right. But uh, I'm gonna keep doing this and do a different degree of Kind of just a variation on how far I take that down. Like, let's go a little bit further on that one. Whoa. And then there's another step. This is like the worst, <laughs> this is the worst video stuff. But trust me, trust me, this can be done. Here's what we got so far. So we got so far. See, we've got um, just random size holes that all have kind of like tears at the end that, that gives them a little bit of a unique shape. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. that's too sharp, buddy. What are we, what are we doing here? $326 a week, that's how much I have to pay For daycare so I can go to work and he can stay and play But they send him home just about every day And I have to leave my job and take care of him Even though I'm paying them a fortune to do that for me Daycare Alright, I'm, uh, I'm not going to do the full thing because I'm trying to keep this kid alive um but the last step is to get a sharp knife and you've got all these once you poke through on the other side of your paper there's all these raged edge, edges and i just like to uh to take the sharp knife and kind of smooth out those edges and just shave it off just real slightly so you're left with a flat surface and you'll get all these these little uh pieces of paper Kind of coming off you just want to you don't want to go too fast in this process you want to go slow and just gently just gently kind of shave those off until you're satisfied with it and um that also kind of elongates some of the holes and makes them irregular and makes them look more natural uh, i'll show you the finished product i've got one done that i've been using and uh it's turned out pretty good and i'll show you a lure that i used it on yeah, good job, bud. Good job, bud. Okay, yep. Uh, here's what my my first one, my final product, looked like. Pretty cool. You can see I've been using it quite a bit. This is a piece of paper. You could laminate it if you wanted it to be more durable. But uh, here's a crappy lure I painted using it. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not perfect, but... Pretty much free. I mean, it's all stuff I found around the house. So, pretty happy with how that turned out. And then I was also able to shoot this whole video with a toddler in one arm or near me where I could see him. So, let that be a 
message to all the new dads. Don't stop doing what you love doing just because you got a crazy maniac living in your house. All right, thanks for watching. You can still retain your hobbies and a piece of yourself if you give up sleep and your mental health. There's more to being a dad than just keeping them alive, but you should probably prioritize keeping them alive.